Hello guys, welcome to our channel, at Zimwatch TV, the channel that covers Zim news and stories across the globe. Please don't forget to subscribe and like for updates. Manungagwa advances six Mugabe overthrow plotters. President Emerson Manungagwa has advanced six senior military officials, with pundits charging an example of compensating overthrow plotters to cement his grasp on power. Since expecting office in November 2017 through a military upheld overthrow, Manungagwa has reliably raised fighters who assumed urgent parts in expelling previous President Robert Mugabe from power. This pattern has been joined by the evacuation of top military figures associated with dependability to Manungagwa's representative, Constantino Chiwenga, who is situated to succeed him inside ZANU PF's order. Among the most recent advancements announced by ZBC, Lieutenant General David Sigork has ascended to the position of Meaningful General, while Brigadier General Justin Mujaja has been raised to Significant General. Air Marshal Elson Moyo currently stands firm on the foothold of Air Boss Marshal, and Significant General Chris Mupande has been elevated to Lieutenant General. Moreover, Brigadier Commanders Tendai Zarutwe and Thembam Lambo have climbed to the position of significant commanders. Tending to the instatement function in Harare on Friday, April 12th, Commandant of the Zimbabwe Safeguard Powers, General Philip Valerio Sabunda, offered salutary comments to the advanced officials, asking them to keep up with their commitment to public assistance. Notwithstanding, the advancements have caused a commotion among onlookers, who view them as a component of Manungagwa's methodology to unite power and guarantee dependability inside the tactical positions. Pundits contend that compensating people connected to the system's ascent to drive subverts vote-based standards and cultivates a culture of exemption. Accordingly, Air Boss Marshal Elson Moyo, talking for the recently advanced officials, offered thanks for the acknowledgement and swore resolute obligation to serving the country. President Manungagwa's position to present such advancements originates from the Guard Act, which awards him the right, in counsel with the clergyman of protection and the leader of the Zimbabwe Safeguard Powers, to compensate individuals for recognized assistance or praiseworthy direct. While Manungagwa's organization approaches these advancements as acknowledgement of legitimacy, doubters see them as a component of a more extensive technique to merge power and sustain the decision party's predominance. As strains stew over the public authority's treatment of military arrangements, concerns continue with respect to the disintegration of majority rule standards and the entrenchment of dictatorship in Zimbabwe's political scene.